Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'll teach you how to download files from folder or directory in ASP.NET MVC. So let's start. Let's open the Solution Explorer. Here you will notice that there is a folder named files. It contains all the files which will be downloaded or displayed on the page. Now I'm adding a model class to our project. I'll give it a suitable name. Here I am naming it as file model. Here I'll be adding one single property called file name, which will be a string property. Now let's move to the controller. In this particular project, I have already added a controller. Now I'll add a namespace system.io. This particular namespace is required for file and directory operations. Now here inside the action result method, I am creating a string array. This particular array will hold the file paths of the fetched files. In order to fetch the files from a folder, I am making use of get files function which belongs to the directory class. To this particular function, I will be passing the path of the folder. Since we cannot find the path of the folder where it is located, hence I am making use of server.mappath function which converts the relative path to an absolute path. Before beginning the video, I would like to inform you that an article has been posted on this topic. The link for the article and the code sample link are available in the description. Also, if you need any further help, please post your query on the forums. The link for the forums is also available in the description. Now I am writing a for each loop and already I have created a generic list collection of file model class object. This particular for each loop will be executed over the file path array. And inside this for each loop, the file path will be converted to file name and it will be set in the file name property of the file model class object. And then the file model class object will be added to the generic list collection of the file model class. The purpose of doing this is because we will not require the complete path of the file when we are displaying it. Also for download purpose, we only require the name of the file because the path of the file that is the location of the folder we already know. Finally, I am returning the generic list collection of file model class objects to the view. I would like to request you to please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. So now I am adding a view to the project and at present I am creating an empty view. So first I will be inheriting the namespace of the file model class. And later on I will be declaring the list collection of the file model class as the model for the view. The reason is simple because we are sending a list collection. So we will be receiving a list collection. So that's the reason I am declaring list collection of file model class as the model for the view. So now I'll be creating an HTML table. This particular table will be used to display the file names and also it will provide a download link to download the particular file. So as you can see, the very first header element inside the table is file name. So this particular column will display the name of the file while the other blank column will be displaying the download links. In order to create the HTML table rows, I am making use of a for each loop and this particular loop will be executed over the generic list collection of the file model class. Now inside the for each loop, I am creating an HTML table row with two table cells. The first table cell will display the name of the file. 
the second table cell will contain the download link and for that purpose i am making use of action link method of the html helper class this particular function accepts some parameters so the very first parameter is the text of the link the second parameter is the name of the action method which will be created later on and the third parameter is actually anything which you want to send to the download file action method so in this case i want to send the name of the file which will be required in order to download the file so that particular thing will be received as parameter in the action method now let's move back to the controller where we'll write the code for the download file action method here the return type is file result because we are returning a file and the name of the file sent from the view is received as a parameter inside the action method i am creating a variable path this particular variable will store the absolute path of the file here i am making use of server.mappath function to convert the relative path of the folder to the absolute path and then i am concatenating it to the file name this gives me the complete file path now i am creating a variable of type byte array byte array because i will be reading the file data in order to read the file i am making use of read all bytes method of the file class and to that method i am passing the complete absolute path of the file finally i am sending the file for download using the file function which accepts the following three parameters the first one is file data in byte array format the second one is the mime type or content type i am making use of octet string and the third one is the name of the file so with this we complete our programming part and we are ready to run our project and see it in action so as you can see the names of the file are being displayed and also the download link is visible and when i am clicking on the download link the file is being downloaded so with this we come to the end of this video today we learned how to display list of files from a folder also we learned how to download a particular file from a folder in ispratnet mbc thanks for watching please like share and subscribe and don't forget to click the bell icon goodbye